They're what's left of the signs that once lit up the Las Vegas Strip. For a bit of history and all the nostalgia, the Neon Museum is a must, especially if you love snapping pics. We're probably one of the most unconventional museums in the world. Thousands visit this boneyard to photograph signs rescued by this nonprofit that collects, restores, and preserves the past. That's pretty much what we capture as a museum. We are Lost Vegas. And now Lost Vegas takes on a whole new meaning. Well, first of all, Tim Burton called us. He chose us, uh, which makes us feel kind of special. This is Halloween, 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 Halloween. He's the creative mind behind some of Hollywood's kookiest flicks, Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Edward Scissorhands. Well, this must be quite a change for you, right, Ed? Alice in Wonderland. And now for the first time, you can walk through director Tim Burton's weird visions in his new life-size exhibit that has taken over the Neon Museum. I think Tim Burton is one of the most unconventional artists, directors in the world. It's a perfect match. The weird thing about Las Vegas is the perception and, and, and the illusion of it all. Burton's sculptures and vignettes represent his memories and flashbacks to his most iconic films. One of the most you know, powerful times for me when, when you know, shooting Mars Attacks and you know, shot the um, demolition of the landmark. Dust settled and everybody was just silent and it was just because it was powerful. You'll see Tim Burton's alien creations placed throughout the museum and it really pays homage to his long history in Vegas. I've been to Las Vegas since I was born, basically. Weekend trips to Vegas as a child, you know, which was very forbidden at that time. You know, it was like an adult amusement park. This time tour will take you through the museum's landmark collection and now, thanks to Burton, to a place where memories and movies come to life. For me, it's about memories, so I guess it's just sort of seeing something through somebody else's eyes. It's a little bit cryptic, it's like vague memories, it's, it's, it's like dreams, it's like things, how this place affected me. I think the Statue of Limitations is over. I can't get arrested now, but I used to sneak into the old place where the signs were you know, trespassing, because it was, they were beautiful, you know, they were just like these old dinosaur bones or something, you know. It was quite peaceful and beautiful and electric and alive all at the same time. Jessica Parsons for Arizona's Family.